Hi everybody, this is Tom from the Tool Development Team and this is tip number two from the tip of the days. So today I want to do something different and talk about an operator that I really like. So this one is called Raster and it's a very, very versatile operator. So it comes with a bunch of uh, presets, so you can have all these presets and when you're holding Alt, the Alt key, then you can actually interpolate about these. But let's go through these options very quickly. So the idea of the raster thing is that it draws a raster and it's supposed to be very versatile. So it should draw rasters, points and so on. So the main thing about this is you have like this line width ratio that tells you like where these lines are supposed to be. So at the intersection or between the intersection. Then we also have like the dot size here. So we can decide, okay, do we have crosses or only like, you know, like separation lines like that. Like this and um, of course you can also change the line width and come up with some very graphical things or you can turn off the lines by either changing the line width to zero or the line ratio to zero and then you can also have only dots you can also scale these things so and uh, you can of course rotate these things and since this is a fragment shader so uh, the you know, the performance doesn't matter if it's a lot of small dots or one little big dot is pretty same, um, uh, same performance. So um, the nice thing about this thing, you can also, if you drag this here with the left mouse button, you can change this opacity. And um, so you can have this um, like transparent or you can have it opaque if you want to. And you can also, um, so if you make this uh, opaque again, then you can change this feather thing here to uh, make it turn it into like a blurred effect. And maybe uh, if you reduce the, uh, the line width even further, then you have like small little dots. So a nice thing about this is then you can actually drive this for multiple purposes. So let's drive this from the left side. So we take, a, we load a, an image here, load texture 2D, we take our fork and then we can actually use this to, of course, we can, um, let's reset all this. So this will basically be a raster thing over the over this fork. And uh, sometimes you notice that there are like, there is a small dark shadow here. So sometimes it helps to increase um, the opacity, uh, or not the opacity, the, the brightness of the background color. So then we can, let's fit this to the fork again. Then we can actually use this R channel affects dot size. So when we do this, and maybe we uh, don't want to have line width, so you see that this turns to some kind of raster image. And um, maybe we uh, ignore the original thing again, or maybe we don't even mix the original image in here. So you can actually do things like, um, oh, actually, maybe let's do one more thing. So if we, if we do it transparent, I think it should be possible yeah, to have like something like a, a dot hole there where you can watch through the through the openings and one thing might be interesting so let's uh if you pin this here so you can actually animate like the holes the pinholes there to have some kind of i don't know what kind of effect this is but um uh, it's versatile so everything you can do oh, let's do it like this way and maybe decrease the size here and then it's like something like an offset effect Maybe we take this to white again and then we can actually do something like uh, like offset offset. So maybe we take this and we layer this um, and we execute this. So and then the idea is to have a layer is much easier to blend than blending with an image thing. So let's take this guy here. Let's uh, move this here. Let's move this guy here uh, to offset. Let's take this into a layer and let's execute this there. And maybe we duplicate these. Oh, actually, I think we only need three, four offsets. I think now if we move this here and if we move this here and if we use the same image, then we can go in here and say, uh, let's say, what is the colors? Let's make this one. So let's pin this guy here. Let's make these blend to additive. Now you know where this is going. Additive, 
additive and then let's make this guy uh i don't know yellow i, I don't know which are the correct colors here and make this like cyan or so and now i think if we should rotate the uh, uh, i think they're like people coming from print they probably know the precise numbers of these so um yeah but you see it's a it's a it's a valuable operator that uh, can be fun to play with so let's move this here scale 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 and then uh yeah so um it's fun that was the tip of the day number two um and maybe um I will do this all the time, so talk a little bit about an operator and a little bit about a technology that you might not know about. See you tomorrow. Bye.